for a place where very few people live year-round. The reason we have all of this open space that is public access, the reason we have it is, is all driven by tourism. Without tourism, here we are sitting with wonderful scenic beauty and the arts, but that pulls people up here. What if we're not pulling people up here and, and we're left to enjoy this by ourselves? As all that money and activity goes away, without a lot of outside money coming in, I, I think we'd have a, a pretty bare place up here with, without a lot to do, without the support that comes in through the tourists. Door County's history has been intrinsically intertwined with the tourism industry ever since people began escaping to it from the sweltering heat of the cities more than a century ago. There was no air conditioning, so Door County was a place people would come for the summer, and people would come and stay for a week or even weeks at a time. A lot of people came by train. You know, there was a, a viable railway system going up through Algoma and into Sturgeon Bay, and from that point, uh, they could even carriage in the early days. Steamers were another big way. Chicago had steamers, Milwaukee had active steamer lines. Later on, the Goodrich steamer line was very active and, and continued for years bringing people to Door County. We were American plan back then. That's where the uh, price for your accommodation is the room or the cottage and the meals, the three meals a day. It was a very relaxed, in, in some ways a very traditional summer getaway. Cooler days, cooler nights, but the bay always warms up if there's sun. Play bridge or some card game in the evenings and uh, just relaxing. In 1909, Peninsula State Park was established as the second state park in Wisconsin preserving 3,776 acres to become the base camp for generations of family traditions. We'd leave the Chicago area like 5 in the morning so that we could get here at 11 o'clock and get a site at Peninsula State Park. Yes, it was that popular 50 years ago. I've always asked people, how have you started coming to Door County or where was your first introduction? And probably still today, 50 to 60 percent of all the people that I talk to it's always been, boy, we came up with my mom and dad or our grandparents to Peninsula State Park. March 13th, 1884, um, a group of business owners got together and they decided that they liked these visitors that came to Door County. They liked that they spent money here and they helped the businesses grow a little bit. So they said, how can we get more of these people to come to Door County and spend some money and use our lodging houses and do those types of things. They put out a call to all the businesses in Door County, from the southern door all the way to the top, and said, we're gonna have a meeting, a two-day meeting in Sturgeon Bay. It ended up being 40 to 50 people at that meeting. They talked about, okay, how would we do this? How would we structure this? What should we be doing? And it was at that meeting that they held elections and the first board of directors from the Sturgeon Bay Businessmen's Association was formed. Farmers struggled to find reliable crops that grew in the shallow, rocky soils of the peninsula until they discovered that cherry trees thrived on it. By the 1920s, the county was becoming famous for the delicious fruit. The cherry image of Door County is is really well known nationally. I mean, if people know one thing about Door County, it's you grow cherries here. Door County exported more cherries than anywhere else in the country. Festivals and parades with cherry queens and floats would celebrate the harvest season. Postcards and other marketing materials featured the cherry heavily and became a major draw for tourists. Just as the cherry became Door County's king crop in the 1940s, war broke out in the Pacific which spawned hundreds of military contracts for the Sturgeon Bay shipyards. 
with uh, World War II came then a sudden influx of military contracts. And you know, we were pushing ships out, you know, sometimes five a day. With that, Sturgeon Bay became a, a boom town almost um, overnight. As tourism and industry grew year after year in Door County, people sought to protect and preserve the natural environment that brought them here in the first place. People who come to Door County are interested in nature. And because of the Door County Land Trust and the Nature Conservancy and the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, all of this together, and the County Park Department, we just have this plethora of options available for anybody who wants to get out and hike. In the late 1960s, Rock Island, Newport, and Whitefish Dunes were all added to the list of Door County State Parks, preserving thousands of acres. And just in the nick of time, for nothing changed the face of Door County and the pace of tourism as much as a 1969 feature in National Geographic magazine. The appearance of Door County in National Geographic magazine um, brought a whole new influx of people to the county both to live here and then to vacation here. In those days, National Geographic was one of the most widely circulated and respected magazines on the planet. It was on everyone's coffee table. And over 25 pages spilled the story of Door County. Author William Ellis found the beauty of Cave Point and Peninsula State Park and to the tastes of cherry blossoms and fish boils. But he also introduced readers to potter Abe Cohn, to Chief Roy Oshkosh, and to the fishermen netting whitefish on Lake Michigan. In the years that followed, tourism boomed on the peninsula, but so did the population. From 1970 to 1980, the population grew by 5,000 people, a full 25%, and among them were a generation of young entrepreneurs going back to the land. Artists, farmers, restaurateurs, gallery owners, and conservationists who would create a new evolution of the Door County experience. Following the tragedy of September 11th in 2001, there was less and less people traveling throughout the United States. Tourism numbers decreased and people weren't taking as many vacations. But Door County was still a pretty vibrant economy up until 2003, 2004 when people just stopped coming here. There were retail shops closing their doors, restaurants were seeing less people come in and visit them, and our lodging really saw an incredible decline in visitors coming to visit our communities. 2004, 2005, John Lowry and Dave Elliott, myself, started the process of, of working towards transforming the, the, uh, the Door County Chamber of Commerce into today's Door County Visitor Bureau. The marketing budget for all of Door County was about $200,000 a year. At that level, it, we just could not compete with the outside. The only way that we could do this and compete was to implement a room tax. We set about and said we gotta get 19 municipalities waving one Door County flag so that we're all working together to bring people here. That very first year, nobody knew what to expect. Because prior to room tax, this organization had a marketing budget of $200,000 a year. And our marketing budget is like two and a half million dollars now. And we're fortunate that the room tax was in place. Because I truly believe to this day that had room tax not been enacted when it was, there'd be a lot of empty buildings on this peninsula that would still be shuttered from 2008, 2009, that would never have been able to make it because there was no money to keep the tourists flowing in here during that time. It's pretty unique for a town of 100,000 to have a performing arts center like DCA. It's practically unheard of for a town of 400. My gallery is here because of the tourism economy. Without the tourists, we could have never done something like we've done here. Tourism is the engine that drives almost everything. Part of the revenue, that's the, the excess revenue we get because we're a tourist center, allows us to do our free clinic. When you think about all the things that have come and gone and reinvented themselves, I am still as enthusiastic about Door County now as I was 17 years ago when I moved here. Yeah, you don't come back for 47 years unless you really like the place. 